Hi there, today we are going to be comparing direct and inverse proportion. When we are looking at direct proportion, we use the notation y is directly proportional to x. As x increases, y also increases. The formula is y is equal to kx, where k is a number. For example, the more apples you buy, the higher the total cost. When we are looking at inverse proportion, we see the notation y is proportional to 1 over x. As x increases, y decreases. The formula is xy is equal to k, or we can rearrange it to be y is equal to k over x. The more people picking up rubbish, the less time it takes to complete the task. Here's our first example. Complete the table on the right. So we have a is equal to 25 and b is equal to 80. We have a is equal to 40 and a missing value for b. A, a is directly proportional to b. To do this, we need to find the multiplier to get from 25 to 80. To do this, we'll do 80 divided by 25, which will give us 3.2. To find the value of B, we need to multiply 40 by 3.2, which will have uh, 182. Here's our first example. Complete the table when A is directly proportional to B. In the table, we have A is equal to 25 and B is equal to 80. We have a is equal to 40 at a missing value for b. First, we need to find the multiplier to get from a to b. So we'll do 80 divided by 25, which will have 3.2. To find the value of b, we'll do 40 multiplied by a multiplier, which is 3.2. So we'll have 128. So therefore, b is equal to 128 when a is directly proportional to b. b. A is inversely proportional to B. If that's the case, what we are going to do is multiply the value of A and B together. So we'll have 25 multiplied by 80, so have 2000. The next set of values for A and B are also going to be multiplied together to get the value of 2000. So to find the missing value of B, we'll do 2000 divided by 40, so we'll have 50. Therefore, B is equal to 50. Here is our second example. Find a formula for y in terms of x when x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 0 0.4, if x and y are directly proportional. If they're directly proportional, we're going to be using the formula y is equal to k multiplied by x. To find the value of k, we need to substitute the values of x and y from the question. So then we'll have 0 0.4 is equal to k multiplied by 50. To find the value of k, we'll have to do 0 0.4 divided by 50, which will give us 0 0.008. So therefore, the last step is just to substitute the k value back into the original equation. So we'll have y is equal to 0 0.008x. B, x and y are inversely proportional. If they're inversely proportional, multiply the two variables together and we'll have a constant number. So we'll do x multiplied by y to get 50 multiplied by 0 0.4. This gives us 20. So we know that our k value is going to be 20. The last step is just to substitute the k val value back into the original equation, which would have been xy is equal to 20. The other way to write this equation is y is equal to 20 divided by x. Both equations are correct. Here is our final example. Does the graph show direct or inverse proportion? As the values of x are increasing, the y value is actually decreasing. So this is actually inverse proportion. B. Work out a formula connecting x and y. We know that for inverse proportion, we have the equation xy is equal to k. To find out what k is equal to, we need to substitute a point that lies on the curve. So we can substitute 6, 2 into our formula here. So x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 2. So our k value is 12. The equation therefore is y is equal to 12 over x or xy is equal to 12. C. Use your formula to find the value of y when x is equal to 15.3. y will equal to 12 divided by 15.3, which will give us 78.4.